So yesterday, Frank and his team came and removed the bathtub. So, but we're still like on the shower. <laughs> but we're kind of finishing up the design plan on how we want the bathroom, like where we want mirrors and medicine cabinets to go, like how we're gonna do the bathroom sink vanity, where we're gonna put storage. That window has to be moved because the shower is gonna be in that corner. So yeah, we're just kind of finishing up the design process right now. Like we want to put everything in like all the fun parts about doing your own bathroom. And this is the old garden tub that was taken out. It's got some kind of cracks where the, the structure was uh, attached or whatever it, it possibly could be reused donated or something but or we might could put some uv paint or something on it and make a a little goldfish pond or a garden uh, water garden or or maybe just a raised uh, plant bed on it i don't know what we're going to do with it they yet. also put the finishing touches on my closet so i just wanted to show you guys it before I add all my clothes back in. So we painted it. Um, Frank and his volunteers, you know, recessed that wall. They they used the existing shelf that, that was already there and they put another piece of board where the recessed area is. And when I came home, I actually put the uh, Sturdied that up, tried to level it the best as I could, and put the uh, rods there that hold the clothes. We still have to do the floor once we get some flooring to somewhat match this existing floor. And Frank is going to put in a light switch there. So one of the things we would like to do is probably to extend the shelf on this extended uh, existing shelf and go to the wall here um, unfortunately there's only about seven inches here but um and i do not know if we could actually uh find this molding or trim here to match so we might just have to paint everything white but we also wanted more shelves which if we went wall to wall we would probably take up you know this this clothing space you know for like eight to ten pairs of jeans or t-shirts or whatever so we might just go down the middle of the wall and just put two or three shelves there so we would have a min minimum of three shelves with this one that you know matches here maybe four um because the wall is not super wide here it's like seven inches i'm not sure exactly what we could put up there but something small stuff yeah um when you do wheelchair accommodations we say this a lot you lose space when you make roll under counters roll under this roll under sinks you know so you try to maximize the space you get back when you do those accommodations if it's adding more shelves then that's our cabinets or whatever then that's and how i also just got a really nice weird medicine cabinet which i'm in love with thank you for my last 50 dollar donation and now $50 away from playing this for a minute. And $150 away from another Q&A. Thank you guys. Keep it coming. One of the things we picked up yesterday for $3, believe it or not, is a 20 amp GFCI ground fault outlet. What is really strange about it is it doesn't have the T-prongs. And I looked it up over and over again saying, is this really a 20 amp? But it's written all over the outlet that is 20 amps so it may be industrial or it may be uh like a, an older one but the good news is we tested it and it works i already put um a 
something electric on it and tested it, made sure it worked. And this will be used for the uh, washing machine. And just like that, the dump is gone. Oh.